Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back today. Our billions. I am New Dynamite, and today I will be huh, cleaning the infected swarm that dares to approach one of our colonies. Well, not exactly. They are standing on the way uh, to establish a new colony in the side of the mines of the Raven. I could actually try to go into the narrow pass, but this swarm is a lot bigger, and I don't feel comfortable enough to face it right now. But we could try to face. This one over here, 748 infected on brutal difficulty. But before that, we can actually get ourselves some research. Now, um, for the Mines of the Raven, I may actually need to get the stone, but I think a better idea would be to get the soldier, which is gonna increase my attack because I'm using soldiers all the time. Uh, and after that, we could try to get ourselves some wasps. So this baby is actually like a decent thing, like a decent weapon. 320 gold and 10 iron, and this beauty can wreak havoc upon the zombies like there is no tomorrow. And if you wonder how this is better than the soldier, basically the wasps have better range, uh, and in my personal opinion this weapon is basically good to weaken the enemies, while the soldiers take care of the enemies that are approaching closer because of the uh, shorter range, that's the first thing. The second thing, uh, this thing does not require workers, so if you like have a lot of resources, a lot of power, and you don't have a lot of people to spare, then you can just rely your defenses on the wasps. And in my personal opinion, this is actually like a really good thing to get. Uh, after the mines of the Raven, I think I'm gonna go for the stone thingy. Uh, the stone thing and probably the iron transport later on, because that's gonna be the thing we're gonna definitely need uh, to defend ourselves in the narrow pass. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the Infectic Swarm, the first Infectic Swarm with actual runners. Okay, so how does the map looks like? Okay, we're literally in the middle of it. Alright, so how much the wasps is gonna cost me? 40 and the soldier is 20. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> wasps, man, wasps. Right, so I could try to use those things, those holes in the forest as a way to buffer out the enemy. Question is... Will this actually be a good idea? So I have calculated more or less the roles that go in the middle of the map. So we have more or less two roads over here, two roads technically over here, and one gigantic road over here, but I think we can count this thing as two. Two roads over here, two roads from the north, and two roads from this side over here, and then one gigantic one from this side, and two roads over here. So the basic concept is that I think I have to split my forces, so they can defend technically two waves at the same time. More or less how that thing is supposed to work, I believe. I don't know, we're gonna see. I'm gonna add a few soldiers here and there. Like such. Uh, just need to add more soldiers. And I think we should be fine. Right, and then I can try to fill some of those things. Oh shit, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was close. I think we can then fill some defenses with a few wasps here and there. The thing is that, the worst thing about the wasps is, is that I cannot move them. So once I've built this thing, that's it. That thing will remain there to the end of the mission. Well, at least when it comes to the swarm attacks. So this is something you actually like, need to plan quite well. Okay, and I got still like a few points remaining, so I think we could try to just put a few more soldiers here and there. Like one soldier per side. Is that possibility possible? Not exactly, but okay, whatever. I think we should be able to do this thing. Right, let us begin the siege! Here comes 748 dead. Yep, they're already on the run, boys. Okay. Uh, right, soldiers, you have to take care of the nearest. The wasp will take care of the highest threat. Okay, right, this... Yeah, don't say... Okay, this is actually going really bad. Right, wasp placement over here was a terrible idea. This was this was this, this was terrible. This was really bad. Oh shit! Okay, we need backup over there. I need backup actually everywhere. Oh shit! Okay, this is going completely not according to plan. Right, this site is already done. Right, should have gone just for the soldiers then, instead of the mixes. Right, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, boys, fall back. North and side requires backup as well. We go over here. Right, that wasn't that scary. But using the wasps, I think, was a, actually a bad idea. I should have just stick to the soldiers instead. 
But anyway, <laughs> we've actually managed to defend this. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it went a lot faster than I expected, to be honest. So that indeed unlocks us uh, the way inside of the mines of the Raven. On the volcanic crystal of the sharp rocks, you find gold mines that were abandoned by humans a long time ago. Yep, and to my understanding, there's gonna be, I believe, two uh, sides from which we're gonna have to focus our defenses, I believe. I'm not exactly sure about that thing, but anyway, we're gonna find out about that thing during the next episode. I'm gonna cut it over here and start uh, the recording of the next one, just in case if people will be just looking for the video uh, of the Minds of the Raven. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know what you think, and if you're gonna be doing this thing on your own, just stick to the soldiers. So, really, just stick to the soldiers. With the upgrade, the soldiers uh, would be way more than enough to deal with the upcoming quest. But anyway, for now, I'm gonna do this thing over here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the like episode. Please subscribe a lot. Happy to see you all in the next video.